Bette Midler proves once again that she is one of the stuck up Hollywood elites that detest you. She can't stand you. She hates middle America. She de just completely despises people like you and me. And she proves that once again in this tweet that she put out that goes completely off the deep end we're going to be taking a look at it in just a second here and she is facing some backlash for this tweet which is good people are calling her out for this calling her out for her horrific behavior she basically has the same view of us as hillary clinton does where we are the deplorables that is how she feels about us that is how a lot of hollywood elites feel about us so let's go ahead and get right into this and see what this is all about bet midler posts meme mocking a Americans upset with rising gas prices. Yeah, I mean, too bad we all couldn't be multimillionaires and then we wouldn't have to worry about it, right? Like, I'm so, I'm just like beyond sick and tired of these elites. People like Bette Midler, people like Stephen Colbert, people who continue to mock us because we have problems with the high gas prices because it's putting more more weight on our so shoulders trying to you know provide for our families and stuff meanwhile these multi-millionaires they they continue to to not only mock us but then pretend that they are the morally superior ones for being willing to pay higher gas prices for the good of all for the good of mankind it's like come on just shut up just shut up at this point so Bette Midler got everyone's attention when she posted a meme on Twitter that mocked Americans who were upset about rising gas prices under President Joe Biden. So this is the tweet right here. She decided to post this meme. Once again, leftists are absolutely horrible at, at, at memeing, but this is what this is the best that she could come up with. You bought the gas guzzling truck. Go ahead and whine about gas prices. I swear I'm listening. Laffy face. So apparently if you bought the gas guzzling truck, it's your fault for the high gas pr prices. It's your problem when you complain about it, but it's not anyone else's fault that there are high gas prices. It's all on you. It's all on you. So there's a lot of people that are calling her out about this in the comments, which is good this is this is exactly what needs to happen so disappointed that you assume so much about other people many people bought their vehicles years ago didn't, don't have money for an ev or electric vehicle or not enough charging stations and doesn't mat matter if it's a large truck or compact car the price increases with gas are crazy exactly we weren't complaining about gas prices just like a year or a little over a year ago and there's a reason for that. I shouldn't have to explain what that reason is, but there was definitely a huge shift in the leadership here in this country that brought a lot of that on us. So anyway, there's more people that, that are, uh, to this, I love this comment right here. Okay, so can I borrow your Prius Tuesday? I gotta haul a trailer of 15 to 20 cows to the sale. I'm sure whatever smart car variation you have can get the job done just as well as a work truck. Boom, that comment right there. This comment's gonna get a like for me. This comment right here exactly nails it right on the head. This person speaking right here is a middle American who is trying to do an honest day's work, provide for his family, take the cows to the market, and all of that stuff, which you can't do with your stupid electric vehicle. But it's apparently this guy's fault that the gas prices are so high to the point that he complains about it because he bought a truck i mean uh, the amount of anger that we should all be feeling towards hollywood celebrities right now should be through the roof it should be absolutely through the roof these people don't care about you they don't care that you are living paycheck to paycheck in some situations that you are trying to get by that you have these uh, that you have all these different bills that you have to pay all these different you know expenses that you have to try to keep up on and everything else they don't care about any of that all you are to them is a peasant and they want you while they're thinking of you as nothing more than a peasant they then also want you to completely ascribe yourself to their narrative to their worldview they want you to view them as the moral superiors in this country and that to me takes a lot of just that takes a lot of gall to be able to to mock you 
and mock me and mock middle Americans. And at the same time, trying to get us to step in line with whatever nonsense agenda propaganda they want to put out there. So anyway, with that being said, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. What do you think about what Bette Midler has to say here? Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll talk to you in another video soon. Bye.